Hi there, I'm Helen, play therapist from the United Kingdom. Welcome if this is the first time you've joined us or welcome back if you've watched some of my previous videos. So we've been looking recently over um, a, an acronym called PARENTS by Sarah Naish. So we've looked so far at P for pause and A for assessing a situation. Today we're going to look at the R and the E. So the R stands for reflect and E is about empathise. So let's start today with reflect. So you're in the middle of a situation with your child um, and you've paused, you've assessed the situation and it's now time to reflect. Now this is just a tiny little mini reflection in the middle of everything that's going on. And what you're looking for are things like, is there an obvious trigger? So have you just turned the TV off and your child is, is not very happy about that? Or has there been an obvious transition? So have they just come home from school and maybe they're feeling tired or hungry? Or maybe you'd like to consider, well, are they seeking attachment? Is this behaviour telling me something about a need that they have to be with me and to attach with me? So this is just a tiny little pause to reflect in the middle of what's going on. So that's quite a quick one. E, to empathise. Now, empathising with your child is more effective than questioning and you're more likely to help to build your relationship and to maintain that relationship. So when you're empathising, you're looking at the feelings rather than the behaviour that you are currently seeing. And to an onlooker, this can be um, quite disconcerting because it might look to them like you're not addressing the behaviour and this can be particularly worrying, especially if you're out in public. Um, but don't worry, don't panic, um, you're dealing with it how you want to deal with it and um, any consequences, natural consequences for that behaviour um, can come later. So don't get um, hung up by oh, what are other people going to think. So, for example, you are on a day out, your child wants an ice cream and they've been told no. So, and as a response to that no, they've kicked out and they've kicked you. So, you've kind of gone through, you're pausing, you assess, they're not in, not in any danger, you've reflected, there's an obvious trigger of not getting what they wanted. So, you can then try and empathise by saying, it must be really tough to hear that you can't have an ice cream. I can see that you're really angry. So you are, um, you're empathising with what the child is feeling and you're, for the moment, kind of ignoring the behaviour side of it. That can come later. So you can try other things like, um, I can see you're finding this really difficult. It must be hard to feel so sad. Or we can wonder with them, my favourite thing to do. I wonder if you kicked out because you were angry. So you're empathising with them and uh, just giving them the opportunity to, to name those feelings that they are feeling at the current moment. So we've got P, A, R, E. And the next video is going to be the N, the T and the S. So we'll bring it all together in the next video. Thanks for watching.